Hi, I'm Allie Reynolds with Allie's Organics, and today we're going to talk about how to keep snails out of your vegetable beds. Uh, what, some of the things that you can use is diatomaceous earth, and what happens is when the snails climb over it, or crawl over it rather, they it pierces their body. If you've got a plant that's a problem, you can just sprinkle this around that plant, and it's totally safe for little guys like Lily here. And when, when the snails crawl over it, it pierces their bodies and causes them to dehydrate. Some other things that you can do in your garden, if you can find some copper, you can also put a copper strip around your garden and the snails won't cross over the copper. They don't like the copper. And there's another choice. This one here is Sluggo Plus. And Sluggo Plus, you're going to use different than you would just the plain old Sluggo. This you're going to just sprinkle it around where you've had problems, where you've seen tracks or moist areas. Sprinkle it around sparingly. You don't, want, you don't need to do too much, just where you see the problems. And the snails will come to it and that, that will kill them. But if you're just using the plain old Sluggo, it looks a lot like this does, but only it's uh, a little bit different. You'll want to do it, and this is just Sluggo, not Sluggo Plus. You want to create some mounds, like this right here. They're more attracted to it like that. And so that's the way you would want to go with just your Sluggo. Some other things that you can do is look in areas, uh, go at where there's rocks and lift up the rocks and you can find them and get rid of them. Um, look, for, look for them at nighttime because at nighttime is when they come out and you can capture them at that time. And if you want to, send your kids out with a salt shaker and have them sprinkle on them. It causes them to dry up, gets rid of them that way too. So here's a few suggestions on how to help you keep the slugs out of your garden.